If you've noticed young and restless Sharon has been acting a little off lately, you're not wrong. But where it's all leading may shock you. Please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up before the video starts. The first sign that Sharon wasn't quite herself was when she ran into Adam and Chelsea in Crimson Lights. We hadn't seen the blonde business mogul slash barista in a bit and had to do a double take at the odd register of her voice and her expressions and mannerisms. We were left asking, what's up with Sharon? As we watched her dole out advice to the pair about Connor, something was not quite right, but it was subtle enough that it left you wondering if you were imagining it. Our suspicions were confirmed when, right after Adam and Chelsea left, Nick sat down with his ex-wife for a heart-to-heart. -heart. It was during this conversation that we found out that Sharon's doctor had changed her bipolar meds. Since nothing typically happens on a soap without a reason, fans had been vocal about Sharon needing a storyline, and the head writer has a penchant for mental health sagas. It didn't take a rocket scientist to see what road we were about to embark upon. Yep, Sharon's bipolar disorder is about to cause a shakeup, not only in her life, but in the lives of others in her orbit as well. And for some of them, it won't be a pleasant experience. In the most recent episode, memories began to play a role in Sharon's story, with Cassie's death coming to the forefront during her conversation with Faith. This made Sharon emotional, but that's to be expected. But things began oh so subtly, to go downhill as the day progressed. Sharon walked into society, happily greeted Daniel and his family, and learned that Faith and Lucy had connected, which seemed to throw her off. Why? Sharon flashed to blaming Daniel for the car wreck that put Cassie in the hospital, and ultimately killed her. It wasn't until later that she and Nick learned that Cassie had actually been the person behind the wheel. But the scene in society left us with the impression that Sharon is struggling with either the past or with some sort of confusion, and it doesn't bode well. The writers didn't have Daniel say, I love my family, for nothing. One of them is about to be in jeopardy, and we'd lay bets it's Lucy. Why? If Sharon's mind is muddling the flashbacks from the past in with the present, she may see Lucy's friendship with Faith as a threat to her daughter due to her proximity to Daniel. Wait, you may be thinking, Sharon's not a threat to anyone. She's not under normal circumstances. But let's not forget that before she was properly diagnosed and treated for her bipolar disorder, she became a kleptomaniac, left Phyllis for dead at the bottom of a set of stairs, and burned down the Newman Ranch. If Sharon's new meds aren't working correctly, or she has stopped taking them, her mind will have already begun playing tricks on her. Not only could Lucy get caught in the crosshairs, but her former rival Phyllis may as well. After fielding Faith's probing questions about the love triangle with Nick and Phyllis, Sharon assured her daughter it was all in the past and that she didn't crave a future with her father anymore. But the look on her face when she walked into the coffee house and saw Phyllis and Nick clasping hands on the table suggests that not only the scene took her by surprise, but perhaps her feelings too. If Young and Restless is firing up the Sharon slash Nick slash Phyllis love triangle again, and the blonde is on the struggle bus, she might just use it to run the redhead right over.